Good morning, Grade 8, and welcome sa aton nga first topic for the fourth quarter, and congratulations sa inyo nga mga performances during the third quarter. Before we start with our lesson proper for this morning, let us sing our Philippine National Anthem. Mga kababayan, pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Once again, good morning. Before we start with our lesson proper, may I request everyone to please close your eyes for our prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful gift of life you have given to each and every one. Madam, huwag na salamat sa tanan nga blessings nga imo ginhatag sa protection, sa provision, and of course sa safety sa matag-adlaw namo nga pag-inawi. Lord Jesus Christ, you are asking sorry for all of the sins that we have committed against you. Kag sa sala pa nga amon makumit, hindi lamang sa unahuna, hindi lamang sa amon nga mga buhat, hindi sa amon mga unahuna. Lord Jesus Christ, as we start with our lesson proper this morning, nagapangayo kami sa kaalam ng amon pagagamitun, agad manchindihan ang mga discussions and different subject teachers sa mga different lessons namon. Lord Jesus Christ, we offer our life to you and we surrender everything to you. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, class, for our Bible verse of the week, it is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Atong gidiga kabuhi ang atong kahilwayan diri sa kalibutan nga ginhatag ni Lord Jesus Christ nga may kahadlok sa iya. Kay nga ang fear of the Lord, dira nagasugod ang wisdom and knowledge nga may ara kita. Hindi kita mangin maalam, hindi kita mangin mainalamon, kag hindi kita makabalo sa kung ano ang atong purpose diri sa kalibutan kung wala kita sa kahadlok sa ginoo. At kung uh, tandaan nga ang kahadlok sa ginoo, isa ina siya sa palatandaan na kita nagapakita nga sa atong pagpalangga, sa atong paghatag sa iya, sa importansya sa atong tagsa-tagsa kakabuhi. Nga ang tagsa-tagsa natin, yung hilikuton, yung buluhaton, is aragid siya sa atong nga nagapatunga. Agun nga hindi kita maglikaw, hindi kita nga matupa sa malain hindi kita madali-dali sa tentasyon. Amun at tinahanglan natin magkabuhi na may kahadlok sa ginoo. Okay, class, for our topic this morning, atong pagatunan ang measures of variability of ungrouped data. So, ano bala ang ginatawag na measures of variability? Measures of variability interpret other values of the given data, giving us a richer understanding of the distribution. So, diritla sa measures of variability, diri ni na itong makita kung ano kalagyo sa distansya sa kada isa kag isa ng mga values of data. Measures of variation indicate how closely the data cluster around the most typical value. As what I have said, sa measures of variation of the measure or the measures of dispersion, diri na itong makita kung ano kalapit, ano kalagka ang itong nga data cluster sa most typical value. Measures of variability include range, average deviation, and standard deviation kag may ara pa kita variance. So ang variance, ako na siya gindugang. So range, unaho na ito. Anong ginatawag na range? It is the simplest measure of variability. It is the difference between the highest score and the lowest score of a distribution. Buot silingon ang range class, ginasubtract lang na ito ang highest score of kag ang lowest score sa atong distribution. Example for range. Below are the scores of 30 students in a 60-item test in math. So we have still the same class interval. 
may interval kita nga 5 pag may frequency kita nga total which is 30 so ang highest nga score diri is 60 ari klaso 60 and the lowest diri is 11 therefore magkuha kita sang range is highest score which is 60 subtract naton ang lowest score which is 11 therefore range is 60 minus 11 in short in this course of 30 students in a 60 item test in math 49 ang range ang formula magkuha sang range class is range is equal to highest score minus lowest score next is the average deviation it is considered as the most reliable measure of variation. Kung sa aton measure of central tendency, mean is the most reliable measure of central tendency, diri naman sa measure of variation, si average deviation na naman ang aton nga most reliable measure of variation. The mean or the average deviation is the mean of the absolute values. Buot si Lingon class, absolute, maski negative pa na daang magwa, ma positive na siya gyapon because we are only taking the absolute values ang tanan nga negative mahimo na siya positive so we are taking the mean of the absolute values of deviations from the mean of the distribution it describes the spread of values from the center si average deviation siya nang nagapakita sang kalagkaon sang paglapta sa mga values halin sa center so sa mean deviation or the average deviation sang ungrouped data may ara kita formula. So it is represented by capital letter M and D which is the mean deviation is equal to the summation of x minus m. Si m class siya na ang aton mean kag ang score naton sila na ang x naton over n. Si n naton is the total number x minus m siya na class of deviation of the score from the mean and uh, absolute value of a deviation from the mean amuning absolute value ni x minus m so si x sila na mga scores si m siya na ang aton nga mean pag ang n siya na ang total naton nga number so ang steps magkuha kita sa absolute nga average or mean deviation is first find the mean of the scores next Find the absolute difference between each score and the mean. Next, get the sum of the absolute differences. Next is divide it by mean. Buot siling on, kung hindi given ang mean, kwa ang danay naton ang mean. Next, ang absolute difference between each score. So isubtract naton ang kada score sa aton mean. Buot siling on, absolute niya. So iya positive na value. Next is get the sum of the absolute differences. So mahon lang naton. I-add up lang nato ng tanan ng absolute differences, then i-divide sa kung pila kabilog ang atong total score. Example, find the mean deviation or the average deviation of ungrouped data, 12, 18, 10, 15, 20, whose mean is 15. So in this particular example, the mean is given which is 15. So substituting to the formula mean deviation is equal to the summation of x minus the mean all over n. So sa hambal dito class, aton ah, danay kwaan ang difference between sa scores kag sang mean. So ang scores naton is 12 minus 15 nga mean plus 18 with subtracted by 15 nga mean plus 10 buhinan sang 15 nga mean plus 15 minus ang 15 nga mean plus 20 minus 15 nga mean divided by n which is 5 gabilog. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 12 minus 15 is 3. Negative 3 na siya but absolute. Again, basta absolute, positive value atong kwa on. So 12 minus 15 is 3. 18 minus 15 is 3. 10 minus 15 is 5. 15 minus 15 is 0, and 20 minus 15, we have 5. So ang himoon lang natin class, i-bring down lang ang aton nga denominator, which is 5. Simplify natin. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 0 is 11, and plus 5 is 16. So 16, divide lang siya natin by the total number of score, which is 5, 
So 16 divided by 5 plus, we have 3.2. You can check that using your calculators. So the mean deviation or the mean or the average deviation of the uh, data 12, 18, 10, and 15, and 20 with mean of 15 is 3.2. Simple lang na siya class, substitute lang siya natin sa formula, then kuwaan danay natin mean kung hindi given ang mean, pagkatapos kuwaan mo difference, then absolute value, then i-add lang na yun kag i-divide sa kung pila ang total number of scores. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is the most accurate. Kung si mean deviation is the most reliable, si standard deviation naman ang most accurate measure of variability. It considers every value in a given distri distribution relative to the mean. By definition, standard deviation is the dispersion of every value from the mean. So siya gini ang pinaka-accurate. Dira ta makita ang paglapta sa aton nga mga data values sa aton uh, distribution data. So sa standard deviation class, it is a special form of average deviation from the mean. It is the positive square root. So may square root na diri siya sa arithmetic mean, sa square deviations from the mean of distribution. It is also considered as the most reliable measure of variability. Same thing dito sa aton nga mean and average deviation. O galing lang kasi standard deviation is the most accurate. It is affected by the individual values or items in the distribution. And we have also the process paano kita mag-calculate sa standard deviation for ungrouped data. Una, pangitaon ng mean. Next is calculate the difference between each score in the mean. Same thing dito sa mean deviation. Next is square the difference between each score in the mean. Ugalin lang, kaya ang kinalain diri, diri ya gina-square na ton ang difference. Dito ya wala na naka-square sa average deviation. Next, i-add up all the squares of the difference between each score in the mean. So, maintindihan nyo na siya karoon kung may examples na ta. Then, divide the obtained sum by n minus 1. Si n na ton siya, ito ang atong total number. Then, extract the positive square root of the obtained quotient. Since naka-square root na siya karon, ato na siya i-simplify, kagkwao na ito ang positive square root. So may characteristics si standard deviation. Una, the standard deviation is affected by the value of every observation. So same thing dito sa mean, sang aton nga central tendency, very affected dito siya sang aton nga mga scores. Diri naman sa standard deviation sa measure of variability class, si standard deviation is greatly affected sang value sang kada observation. The process of squaring the deviations before adding avoids the algebraic fallacy of disregarding the signs. So aton danay is square ang aton nga uh, difference ang score kag mean before nato ni add para ma-avoid ang algebraic fallacy of disregarding the signs. It has a definite mathematical meaning and is perfectly adapted to algebraic treatment. It is, in general, less affected by fluctuations of sampling than other measures of dispersion. Since uh, dito sa aton previous nga slide, ginhambal na nga this is the most accurate measures of variability as well as the most reliable measures of the measure of variability. And last, the standard deviation is the unit customarily used in defining areas under the normal curve of error. It has thus great practical utility and sampling and statistical inferences. So we have the formula, standard deviation is equal to the summation of x minus the mean squared all over n minus 1. So tanani sila class belong siya sa square root. Wherein ang SD nga capital letters stands for the standard deviation and X is the scores and M is of course the mean. X minus M is the deviation of the score from the mean. Kag ang naka-squared na naton is the absolute value. Maski negative pa na siya karon once squared naton positive man na siya gapon. Kag ang summation sa aton X minus M squared I-add lang na naton ang tanan karon nga na-squared na naton nga difference ang aton scores and means. So n, same thing is the total number 
minus 1. So, ang minus 1 class is constant. Hatagan ta. Example, find the standard deviation of the ungrouped data made up of these scores, 12, 18, 10, 15, 20, and whose mean is 15. So, given na class ang mean, so ang imuunta lang, substitute siya nato sa formula na standard deviation is equal to the square root of the summation of x minus the mean squared all over n minus 1. So, x is 12 minus 15 nga mean squared plus 18 minus 15 nga mean squared plus 10 minus 15 nga mean squared plus 20 minus 15 nga mean squared all over n which is 5 minus 1. So 12 minus 15 is 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. 18 minus 15 is equal to 3. 3 squared is 9. 10 minus 15 is negative 5. Negative 5 time, uh, negative 5 squared rather is positive 25. 20 minus 15 is equal to 5. 5 squared is equal to 25. In short, ato naman siya simplify. Ang ato denominator ng 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So, square root sa 9 plus 9 plus 25 plus 25 is equal to 68. So, for over 4 lang naton. So, 68 divided by 4, we have 17. Then, i-extract lang nato ng square root ni 17 using calculators. So, positive square root ni square root of 17 is 4.12. Therefore, the standard deviation for the ungrouped data made of this course, 12, 18, 10, 15, and 20 with a mean of 15 is 4.12. Another example is use the scores 78, 76, 80, 82, 81 in a test to calculate the mean and standard deviation. So we have kwa antada na mean kay wala given nga mean. So magkwa kita mean is add up all the values then divide by the total number. So 78 plus 76 plus 80 plus 82 plus 81 divided by 5, we have 79.4. So you can double check it in your calculators. Then, kwa anatin standard deviation by substituting sa formula ng square root of summation of x minus m squared all over n minus 1. Same thing plus x which is 78 minus a mean na 79.4 squared plus 76 minus the mean 79.4 squared plus 80 minus the mean which is 79.4 squared plus 82 minus the mean which is 79.4 squared plus 81 minus the mean of 79.4 squared all over 5, which is the total number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minus 1. 78 minus 79.4 is uh, squared naton is 1.96. Tapos Ang 76 point minus 79.4 squared is 11.56. You can double check that in your calculators kung gusto nyo. 80 minus 79.4 squared is equal to 0 0.36. 82.79 minus 4, uh, 0.4 rather squared is 6.76. And 81 minus 79.4 squared is 2.56. Simplify naton by adding up all the numerators. So we have 23.2 over 4. So 23.2 divided by 4, we have 5.8. Extract ang square root or the positive square root ni 5.8 is 2.41. So pwede nyo na siya class ma double check using your calculators. Next is the variance. Ano ba lang ginatawag ng variance? Siya lang na class ang square of the standard deviation. But silingon, 
ginasquare ta lang kung pila ang atong standard deviation. In short, having obtained the value of the standard deviation, you can already determine the value of the variance. It follows then that similar process will be observed in calculating both standard deviation and variance. The same process ang ato ni observe when calculating standard deviation and of course the variance. It is only the square root symbol that makes standard deviation different from variance. Si standard deviation gina square root naton, however si variance gina squared naton. So the formula to find the variance is s squared is equal to the summation of x minus mean squared all over n minus 1. So the same thing lang ni si Laplace, ang only nga kinalain is ang square root kagina kay standard deviation. However, di rin naman niya sa aton nga standard, ah, sa aton nga variance rather is squared. So how to calculate the variance for ungrouped data? First is find the mean. Same thing dito sa standard deviation. Then calculate the difference between each score and the mean. Next, Square the difference between each score and the mean. And add up all the squares of the difference between each score and the mean. The same thing to siya ginimo lang natin, class parihos, gito, kung paano kita magsuma sa standard deviation. So variance for ungrouped data example. Find the variance of the ungrouped data made up of these scores. 12, 18, 10, 15, 20, and whose mean is 15. So using the formula, S squared is equal to the summation of X minus the mean squared all over N minus 1. So first score, which is 12 minus 15 nga mean squared plus 18 minus 15 nga mean squared plus the score nga 10 minus 15 nga mean squared plus 20 minus ang mean nga 15 squared. So aton ina siya i-simplify, 12 minus 15 is negative 3 since absolute man na ng kwaunta, kag kung ang negative is squared na aton, mahimo man na siya gyapon positive. So negative 3 squared is 9, 18 minus 15 is equal to 3, so 3 squared is also 9, 10 minus 15 we have negative 5, negative 5 squared is positive 25, 20 minus 15 is uh, squared, is equal to positive 25. So, i-simplify natin class. 9 plus 9 plus 25 plus 25 all over 4. So, we have 68 divided by 4. Ang aton ng variance is 17. Next, solve for the variance of the following scores. 1, 2, 4, 7, 9 in 12. So we have kwa and then I mean we add up all the values. So 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 plus 9 and plus 12 we have 35 divided by, by the total number which is 6. So 35 divided by 6 is 5.83. 5.83 siya na atun mean. Next, I calculate the difference between each score in the mean. So 1 minus 5.83, which is the mean, squared plus 2, minus 5.83 squared plus 4, aring 4 na, minus 5.83 squared plus 7, aring 7 minus 5.83 plus 9, 9 minus 5.83 squared plus 12. Ang last nga score nato, which is 12, subtrakan lang naton sa mean nga 5.83, then is squared. 1.5 1 minus 5.83 squared is 23.32289. So pwede nyo na sa class ma-direct sa calculator para inyo siya ma-double check. Then, 2 minus 5.83 squared is 14.6689. Next is 4 minus 5.83 squared is equal to 3.3489. Next, 7 minus 5.83 squared is equal to 1.3689. Plus, 9 minus 5.83 squared we have 
10.0489 plus ang 12 naton kag buhinan sang aton mean nga 5.83 squared we have 38.0689 ang next lang naton class nga himuon is i-add ini naton ang tanan nga values naton so ang pag-add ra naton may ara kita sum nga 90.8 8334. Simplify ang denominator nga 6 minus 1 which is equal to 5. So 90.8334 divided by 5 is equal to approximately 18.17. So gin round up na lang na siya naton in a hundreds place. So I hope nga naintindihan ninyo ang mga measures of variability. We have the range Ginagamitan ta lang siya sa formula ng highest score minus lowest score. May ara kita average deviation or the mean deviation. May formula kita ng mean deviation is equal to the summation of x minus the mean all over n. May ara man kita ginatawag nga uh, standard deviation. Sa magkua sa standard deviation, we use the formula capital letter S, D, is equal to the square root of the summation of x minus the mean squared all over n minus 1. And the last is the variance with the formula of s squared is equal to the summation of x minus the mean squared all over n minus 1. So I hope na intindihan ang aton topic for this morning and if you have any questions and clarifications feel free lang ang mag-message via Messenger. So if you have any questions hindi lang magkahuya para aton ma-address ang inyong queries and clarifications. So God bless everyone and see you sa aton nga continuation sang aton topic for this week sa aton next nga video. So once again, God bless.